What is the scarcest resource that we possess? What is it? Time, time. Everybody says time. Put your hand up if you say time. You're wrong. It's not time because right now my watch says it's 920. Tomorrow at 920, we have 24 hours available to us. Guaranteed. There's nothing scarce about that when somebody guarantees you something. The next day at 920, you got 24 hours. The next day at 920, you got 24 hours. You got as much time as you want in perpetuity. Everybody says, I got no time. I'm running out of time. I wish I had more time. You, no, man, you're just inefficient. Scarcest resource as analytic professionals that we possess is not time. It's attention. What do we give attention to? What's the last thing you touch at night before you go to bed? <laughs> you know what the answer should be, right? Let's add to the controversy. What's the first thing you touch in the morning when you wake up? <laughs> Nick is the kind of professional speaker I love to work with. He's easygoing, super organized, reliable, and his content is always on point. When Nick presents on stage, everyone is captivated and entertained. By the time he's finished, I know it's going to be a win-win for the audience and for us. When sourcing your next speaker, I highly recommend Dr. Nick Bontis. We get bombarded with too much information. Too many words that end in shun, right? Information, collaboration, consolidation, execution, implementation, innovation, improvisation. Shun, 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 shun. Take the analogy, and all we want is a vacation. That's right, you got it. And I think the audiences want to have fun and learn something they've never heard before to improve themselves and their organization. Then they can go home and tell their spouse and kids and go to work and tell all of their colleagues, this is how we accelerate performance. That's what I do. Put your hand up right now if you're sitting beside somebody that you know. Put your hand up if you're sitting beside somebody that you know. It is the biggest mistake you have made today so far. <laughs> you're hanging out with this guy because you've been hanging out with him every day for the last five years. You eat lunch with the guy every day. You walked here together with him. Let me explain something to you. You've tapped him out. <laughs> he will not contribute anything to your learning. But she will. believes that intellectual capital is the most important asset of your business. If you don't believe that, then that means you don't respect your brain power. Your brain power is the most respected asset of our business. How many of you are learning still at work? How many of you are unlearning at work? Less hands. I believe that the secret sauce that will be delivered by predictive analytics is not so much about learning how to make decisions to drive profit but unlearning what not to do in your business anymore. This is actually the second time that I've seen Nick, and when we were shopping around for a keynote speaker, we all very quickly said that Nick would be a perfect fit because he's clever, funny, and interactive, and that's exactly the environment we wanted for our information session. Because we're lazy. Email, boom, CC 15 people, BCC 55 people, click send, boom, boom, boom. We're lazy. No, okay? Sean, he doesn't like email anymore. It's an analytical project. I gotta go talk to him face to face. He wants to hear the intonation in my voice. He wants to hear the desperation of why we need to do this. And if I get a little bit closer and a little bit closer, he finds it offensive, but he has to pay attention. You understand what I mean? Nick's presentation was by far the best hour I've ever spent at a conference. It was energetic, it was insightful, it was interesting and he's an academic, which makes it even more interesting that he was so engaging. So thank you very, very much, Nick. You are awesome.